So there's one topic I really love to talk about and it doesn't matter too much. And it is video quality. The technical quality of your videos or your podcast. Why is it that it doesn't matter? Let's say you go into an old movie, black and white, and the story is really fascinating and you get absorbed. Do you care about if it's color or black and white? Probably you don't. So we have these two aspects in every movie or uh, video we see. First is the content quality and then we have the technical quality. And I've studied movies and television. I've been working as a cameraman on TV. And what I found there was that often people cared so much about the technical quality that there was no room, there was no space for caring about the content. And I had a project, we were 30 people at the film set, I think, and the cameraman was great and everything was great. Every technical detail was planned. <laughs> and the actor was standing there alone for three hours waiting for us to be ready. No one was even talking to him. It was a low budget project, so it was not very professional, but I was thinking like, what if we got rid of all the tech stuff and just had this time, these three hours for the actor to practice and to go deeper in his role and yeah, it would have been a different movie. And this was also the response from the, from the people who watched the movie then um, in the cinema, I was talking um, after the, the premiere uh, to some people and say, said, yeah, um, I didn't really get what the movie was about. Like, it looked nice, but I, I can't even remember what the story was. So what's the point um, when you spend thousands of dollars or euros in your camera equipment and then what you say is just rubbish and not interesting because you're only caring about your lights and your uh, tech setup. I had a like, yeah, it, it was really a tough journey for me because I love these microphones. I love cameras. I can geek out about them. And still I find myself that in 90% of the cases where I am thinking about video quality, it is due to one reason, and this is that I'm not feeling the connection to the people that I'm talking to. That I'm just in my head, that there's just a mind talking some rubbish. But when I'm really in the connection, when I understand my people, when I understand my customers, then I don't even need to prepare, then it just comes out naturally. And sure, it's like an art form is something I've practiced and I've gotten better and I'm still becoming better. And also the, the people I see who are doing it are getting better. Um, but this is something you cannot force. It's just a thing of experience. And just imagine like that you're outside somewhere and you want to record a voice message for a friend. And there's the strong wind. What you naturally do is you just protect your mouth and the microphone uh, from the wind and you say hey I just wanted to tell you blah 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 or I wanted to ask you something uh, I hope you can hear me because it's a little windy you don't care you don't wait for the wind to blow you have to say something and you will say it and no one can prevent you from saying it and if you have this level of like energy like you don't care about the background of your video you don't care if your pronunciation is 100% perfect like I, I'm pretty sure you hear my German accent mixed with a little uh, Indian accent because I've been too much in India, too long time in India. I don't care. I have to say something. I want to reach you. I want to change your life. I want to empower you to, to get out there and, and help thousands of people. So I will not wait to make this perfect. Okay. That said, I have some tips for you how you can improve your video quality or what matters. Um, it's first, I'm shooting on an iPhone 6s Plus right now. Um, I have this, um, this selfie stick uh, with a tripod underneath. So it's like really small setup. It costs around 25 bucks. 
Um, I can carry it everywhere, I can have it with me all the time. Um, and I have an external microphone. I could even use the normal, um, a normal headset, it would be fine. The only thing to, to keep in mind is to have the microphone as close to your mouth as possible. So what you also can do is just like um, have it like this, just let it hang around. People will notice, but who cares? If what you say is interesting, no one cares if, if there's a white or black cable. Um, and every smartphone now has a video quality that's more than enough uh, for shooting professional videos. I've even seen um, a cameraman from a TV show when I was still working um, on TV. He was running around interviewing people with his iPhone back then. And this is like five years ago. Um, but he had an external microphone. And that's the point. I will just show you, like this is a Lavalier microphone. You can, you can get one from five or 10 bucks uh, upwards on Amazon. Don't take one that's too expensive because um, I put this one, that's a really great one. Uh, it costs six euro, six euro, it's the Rode Smart Love Plus. It's pretty nice. Um, I attached this to my professional sound recorder and then I heard the difference. Then the sound was 10 times better because I was disappointed when I connected it to my iPhone and thought like, okay, the quality is not much better than, than the standard uh, headset. And I think it's because the iPhone or the most smartphones are just not built for professional um, sound recording. So the the electric parts uh, that that are inside just cannot pick up the quality that the microphone has. So you're good with your normal headset or a five to ten bucks uh, microphone. Just this one thing. Um, you hear the difference when I have the microphone close to my mouth um, or when I move further apart. And when you now imagine that some people are talking in the background or I'm outside in nature and some birds are singing, it becomes less comfortable and, and less easy to understand my voice. You need to concentrate more. So this is the only thing, especially in the beginning, you should care about. If you have something to say, just get out there. People don't care if the microphone looks great or the camera or whatever. People care that what you say is coming from your heart, that you really reach them, that you understand them. And then they are really forgiving about video quality. Or also when you're talking to your friends, uh, you are like, I have a friend in India. And the phone or the, the, the internet connection is really bad sometimes. But I'm so happy to see him sometimes. Just like I see every pixel because it's really bad, the quality. But when, when he just shows me around like, hey, this is where I am right now. I love it. I love it. It's amazing. That said, just get out there. And um, one last thing. If you're interested about the basic setup, like how to make um, professional video creation easy. Um, I've already done some live workshops uh, here in Germany um, and have shown people how to produce videos in one day, like how to, how to understand every part of it. The sound, the video, the lights, the camera, being in front of the camera, so also camera training, how to edit it, how to care about the content, how to create stories, um, etc. what to talk about. Um, so if you're interested in it, uh, let me know. Then I might do it as an online course, just basic video creation to get the tech uh, or the tech obstacle, the tech burden out of your way so that you can start rolling and concentrate, that you feel confident. It's like that you know how, like it's like a little like... Uh, driving school that you know how to drive this car uh, you don't need to know how the engine is working um, and all that technical stuff you just know what to do how to change gear the things you need and you're good and you're ready to go no matter where you want to go you can explore the whole world um, let me know if you're interested in it and let me also know like if you have questions about video audio as i said i like to geek out about it <laughs> And then I wish you a wonderful day.